yeah, dating is really fun. Um, there's this new restaurant that I went to what, that, like, if you don't like the person you're with, um, you can press this button and they shrink you so that you can hide in the butter dish. <laughs> So I did this, and um, like I was complaining to this giant slab of butter about the person I was with. Um, and the butter told me something really inspiring. It said, my face is being hacked off and put on stale bread. Um, maybe don't be so self-involved. Um, yes, that's how it came up. So I had this friend with like, uh, who had a lot of weight on his shoulders, um, so he quit his job, and he also stopped carrying around a four-ton orangutan. Um, that helped too. Um, I also had this friend who had really mysterious eyes, and I wanted to know what was behind them, so I used a flashlight. Um, and behind his eyes was a single chimpanzee clipping its toenails, uh, yelling, stop peeping, you creep. <laughs> um, so that solved that mystery. Um, yeah, so I, uh, but the last person I dated um, was so cold and remote uh, that he was a literal gust of wind. <laughs> uh, Mid-conversation, he kept flying north 20 miles. Um, that made things difficult. Uh, we stopped hanging out because he called me something terrible. Would you like to know what the gust of wind called me? Uh, he called me a... <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm sorry for repeating that. Uh, the rest of set is clean. So... Yeah. I... Uh... I have this friend who, she left her humidifier on all night, and she got turned into a fog. Um, at first she was really excited, because she gets to like travel the world as a fog. Um, but she only got five feet, and then it got really hot, and she evaporated. They should really put warnings on humidifiers. That's my main lesson. Um, I have a ghost story. You guys want to hear a ghost story? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is true. My grandmother was visited late at night by her husband, who died last year. Um, and he asked her, would you like to know what the afterlife is like? And she said, um, it's four in the morning, Frank. Get out of my house. Uh, that's the end of the ghost story. I hope that's scary. Yeah. I, um... So I'm not a fan of people who complain a lot. Uh, the last birthday I was with, I got stuck talking to a clinically depressed slice of birthday cake. Um, the cake wasn't making it as an artist. He tried to take a picture of a field of wheat, but the field blinked. Um, and then he tried to like paint a portrait of a full moon but the moon kept complaining that it was being made too round. Um, and then he tried to write all his problems in a novel, but the novel grew legs and jumped to the nearest book-burning country, um, which I think is Southern Ohio. Um, yeah. I, uh, at the same birthday, I got stuck to talking to like this boring birthday balloon. Um, he was telling me about this new disease where if you say too many inconsequential things, you cease to exist. Um, it's called daytime newscaster syndrome. Um, I think my current president has it. Um, I have, so this is true, I have two PhDs. Uh, my first PhD is in theoretical tennis. Um, it's exactly like regular tennis, except each player is like filled with a sense of uncertainty. 
because it's theoretical. Um, my second PhD is in the concordant studies of ecological biometry and the developmental disposition of applied applications. Um, I don't know what that means, uh, but I have it. Um, so this is this will be my last one. I talked to this shaman recently, and um, has anyone here talked to a shaman? Okay, this you won't. This is the only one that's not relatable. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so this guy. He lives in the forest on a hill, and um, I went up there and I asked him, you know, what is the point? What is it all for? And he told me, um, I don't know, man, I just like sitting on hills. Um, so now I'm enlightened. Um, and that's my set. Thank you. Thank you.